Let's take a quick look at the Belgian author, Georges Simenon, who wrote in French and who was born with the moon at the midheaven. The moon at the midheaven gives a desire for recognition and success in life. Very, very often through, through sales, and uh, he was a great self-promoter, great salesman. And uh, what he happened to do for a living was he wrote about 450 books uh, during, his, uh, during his lifetime, which was about 1903 to 1989. Uh, he was a, a smoker, always seen carrying a pipe. He used to drink a little bit and carouse and whatnot, but he still managed to live uh, 86 or 87 years. That's because his son, this symbol right here, is in a conjunction close together with Jupiter. And the sun and Jupiter gives a lot of good fortune. It, it helps uh, get a person through all the tough spots of life. And he did have a few tough spots, including in the Second World War, where he was for a while um, accused of a little bit of collaboration with the uh, enemy, with the Nazis, while he was in Paris. He dared to stay in Paris while during the Nazi occupation, but it didn't harm him really at all. And also, this shows a lot of travel. And he did world travels uh, in, from about 1932 to 1935, 36. He traveled extensively through the, the Middle East and uh, Northern Africa. And then for those last two years, he, he did around the world um, travel. He evidently, he ev um, eventually emigrated to the United States uh, after the war, and then he uh, did a lot of his best work there. He was born with Scorpio rising. Here's the ascendant. Here shows 12, um, 12 degrees of Scorpio. Scorpio, although it has no planets in there, is ruled by, uh, by, by Pluto, and Pluto is up here in his chart in the 8th house, which has to do with sex and death, and also in Gemini, which has to do a lot with, uh, with writing and communications. A great spell-binding communicator, a great uh, writer of mysteries primarily. Also Neptune, a planet of mystery and imagination, is also there in the 8th house. The 8th house here is shown. Here's the 7th, here's the 8th, and extends from that point to that point. So these planets are within that range. Now, um, he was known to be a bit of a ladies' man. And when we look at the chart here, we see that the moon in six degrees of Virgo is opposite Venus, which is in 11 degrees of Pisces. Here's a uh, description of that uh, moon opposition Venus. Let me see. Let me focus in on this here. It says... Sometimes there's overindulgent tendencies and not great a concern for, and too great a concern for material comforts and luxuries. This aspect has a negative double Taurus emphasis. There can be sexual excess as well as, as, well as unhealthy eating habits, uh, usually overindulgence, etc. So let me um, go to um, another page here for just a second and uh, show you what they mean. Here is... Uh, Georges Simenon, a biography by Fenton Bressler. And if you look at him, there's the guy. There's our hero. And he's got a big Jeroboam, or looks like, or some kind of big bottle of um, nice French wine or champagne. And he's chewing on his pipe there. He's in a dressing gown, a robe, rather. And uh, the interesting thing about Georges Simenon is that he um, claims to have slept with 10,000 women between the ages of 13, when he was a good Catholic, um, uh, uh, in a good Catholic boys' school, and his death in 1989. So, a very active guy, a very fun guy. And um, as I said, it's kind of a chart that shows lots of fun with Sun conjunction Jupiter. This is one of the things that gave him the tremendous ability to be uh, to um, uh, to write, and that is that Mercury was almost exactly conjunct with Saturn, and Saturn intensifies and and and, and makes the 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 knowledge that he has, the abilities they have, powerfully able to to do their job. Einstein had the same kind of thing, except he was um, a great thinker, but but Simenon was able to to write 
60 to 80 pages a day when he was on, you know, a uh, track to writing a book. He was always writing something. Uh, he was born with Mars, the planet of work, in a close conjunction with the North Lunar Node, the head of the dragon, Rahu. And that combination uh, means uh, being at the right place at the right time with the, with the right stuff, you know, to, to do the job. It's a very uh, powerful uh, chart, but also a very um, uh, self-serving uh, and, 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 and uh, hedonistic chart. He was not particularly a, relig a religious person. He was just out there uh, having fun writing. By the way, the way that he got into the into the writing, the mysteries, was that when he was a young man, still in his late teens, early twenties, he worked for several newspapers, and he he was on the crime beat. He would go visit the crime scenes. He would talk to the cops. He would listen to the stories, the lectures, take lots of notes, and so he and he was became able to write articles at the at the drop of a hat on any crime subject, and that's how he worked his way into uh, into, cr into crime novels and mysteries. An amazing man, Georges Simenon, and uh, thank you for listening.